A very rare weather pattern is currently developing in the United States, which is set to bring record-breaking cold temperatures to much of the United States tonight. Additionally, a ton of snow is currently falling across parts of the Midwest, Ohio Valley, and the Northeast, with more snow on the way for areas like Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, and even Indiana and Illinois. Furthermore, a huge storm could impact the United States this upcoming weekend, which could cause the return of severe weather and even more snowfall. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country today. And right now we have a big storm system that has now made its way all the way up into the Northeast. On the backside of that low pressure system is where we have a plume of lake effect snow falling across parts of Illinois, including Chicago, Northwest Indiana, and much of Western Michigan. This is gonna continue throughout the daytime today. And on top of that, we are expecting lake effect snow to ramp up across Lake Erie and Lake Ontario later today. So get ready for a lot more snowfall. We could even see some light snow and perhaps even a little coating to an inch across parts of Tennessee, Kentucky, Southern Ohio, and Indiana today. We'll talk more about that here in just a moment. But notice this really sharp line right here. This line is the divide between very dry and also moist air. That right there is our cold frontal boundary, which has now made its way all the way down into parts of Florida this morning. And we are anticipating that this will continue to move to the east throughout the daytime today. And some of the coldest weather that we've seen in a long time is coming to areas in the southeast and all up and down the east coast. We are forecasting upwards of 40 different records to be broken tonight for low temperatures across the southeast. That is exactly how cold it's going to get and why this is a very rare weather pattern that is currently developing. And then back over in the Great Plains, things are pretty quiet for right now, but I do think that'll change as, as we go later into this week. I'll also check this out. This is thunder snow that happened last night in northwestern Indiana near Porter. This is something that we could see today as well near Chicago or southwestern Michigan or even perhaps northeastern Ohio. So keep an eye out for a little bit of thunder snow today. But let's talk more about this very rare weather pattern that is about to impact the United States. And for many of you this morning, you are already starting to feel the impacts of this. This is basically our first taste of winter. This is coming upwards of one to two months early for many areas. This is what our jet stream looks like right now. We have a huge dip in the jet stream that stretches all the way from Canada back into the deep south, even across parts of the Gulf Coast, which is where our jet stream is very intense right now. All of this dip right here is helping cold air to come out of Canada and it's built up over the last few days. So we are truly feeling our uh, first Arctic air of the season as we go into tomorrow and as well as Wednesday. That is when the coldest of the air will reach down to Florida, which is where I anticipate upwards of 40 different records to be broken in terms of low temperatures, which is absolutely crazy. We have not had a record-breaking event like that in quite some time especially in the southeast for temperatures. Um, by the middle and end of the week, our jet stream is going to remain still meridional, which means we will still have an active weather pattern. But that's mainly going to be uh, across the northeast and the midwest, where lake effect snow and some rain will also continue through the middle of the week. And then by next weekend, we got to watch this right here. We got a big storm coming by around Friday and Saturday, that could bring the return of severe weather and maybe even another winter storm. It's a little uncertain on exactly what's going to happen, but I do think we're at least going to get some sort of severe weather set up back over in the Southern Plains in the Mississippi Valley on Saturday. And then from there, things get a lot more uncertain, but we could see a continuation of severe weather on Sunday across parts of the Southeast. So, this is a storm that we'll be talking more about here in just a few moments, and you don't see this very often, but we have freeze warnings that are stretching all the way from Oklahoma and Texas back into Florida and Virginia and North Carolina for the next 24 hours. 
This includes what's happening this morning and also for tomorrow. So get ready for temperatures to drop below 32 degrees for the first time this season, which again in Florida is not something you see very often this time of the year. It might even get close to Orlando tomorrow morning, which is very crazy. And then anywhere in the purples, that's where we have winter weather advisories uh, currently in effect. And then winter storm warnings in the pink, which does include areas like Chicago. Now, one of the craziest things about this weather pattern that we're going to experience for the next couple of days is how cold it is about to get. These are your temperature anomalies. Notice how cold our air mass is today across Tennessee, Kentucky, and even through Alabama and Georgia. This is an area where we could see some snowfall this afternoon. I'm not expecting accumulation, but snow flurries down this far down to the south in November is not something that is very common. And on top of that, this is upwards of 30 degrees below average for temperatures during the morning and afternoon hours. So very cold air. And then by tonight, that cold air is going to make it all the way down into Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida. Much of Florida will have a falling iguana alert, which means falling iguanas are going to be a possibility tonight as it's going to be very cold across Florida and on top of that, we have the threat of freezing temperatures. So protect sensitive vegetation if you're in any of those freeze warnings by Tuesday morning. All that cold air is going to be draping the entire east coast of the United States from Florida all the way through Maine. And then by Wednesday and Thursday, that cold air starts to move out. It will still be below average for much of the east coast through at least Friday and then Saturday. Sunday is when a ton of warm air will make a return across the Great Plains, the Midwest, and the Ohio Valley. And this is when severe weather, as well as another winter weather event, could take place. So these are the low temperatures that you're waking up to this morning. Most areas from central Texas all the way back into Alabama and northern Georgia have dropped below freezing for the first time this season. But tomorrow morning is where we could have a ton of different records shattered, especially across the southeast, including Kentucky and Tennessee, where temperatures will be down near 20 degrees. Even some teens are possible back over in Kentucky. So very cold weather. You might even have to protect pipes, at least in some of those areas. And then back over in northern Florida, that is an area that we are expecting freezing temperatures to make it as far south as areas just barely north of Orlando, including Ocala. We could even see some areas like Tampa and even Daytona Beach get down near 35 degrees. So it is going to be a very cold morning tomorrow. Again, the coldest weather that we've seen in a long time for those areas. And then by Wednesday morning, things begin to improve as the freezing line will raise way back off to the north again, where it really should be for this time of the year all the way back up into the Ohio Valley in the Midwest. And over the next 48 hours, we are forecasting well over 50 different records to be broken across the United States. And it all begins this afternoon where our record-breaking low maximum temperatures, which means the coldest high temperatures that we've recorded on this given day, are about to go down anywhere from western New York all the way back through the Gulf Coast. Many areas, even including northern and central Georgia, will not get out of the low 40s today. That is just insane for November. I cannot stress that enough. Like, this is just something that you do not see in the month of November hardly ever. And then, as we go into tomorrow morning, it gets even crazier. These are the forecasted low temperatures for tomorrow morning. And almost all of Florida, all the different weather stations, will be near or at record-breaking levels from Miami and Key West all the way through Jacksonville. Jacksonville currently forecasted to drop below freezing. And then even back over in the Carolinas, the Dixie Alley, look at this. Even over in Huntsville, Alabama, only 21 degrees tomorrow morning. Get ready for an actual winter weather pattern here over the next 24 hours. And then our record-breaking low maximum temperatures for tomorrow afternoon. Almost all of Florida, once again, we're not even getting out of the 50s in some areas, which is usually something that we see in very late December or even January. This is happening well over a month in advance. Now, shifting gears over to the snow that is coming out of this big storm system, 
as we are expecting the threat of upwards of 6 to 12 inches of snow in some locations over the next 48 hours. This is what it looks like this morning. We still have lake effect snow across northeastern Illinois, mainly near Chicago. So get ready for that. And then by late Friday and Saturday, some of that energy and moisture that's going to be basically breaking off from this atmospheric river event is going to lead to a large storm system to enter the United States by around late Friday and early Saturday. And so notice on Saturday, we're going to have a fairly large storm system. It's going to be kind of complex here. I think on Saturday, we'll likely have a low pressure system back over in Texas. This would be where we're watching for the threat of severe weather, including damaging winds, hail, and tornadoes. And then on the northern side, we could have another low pressure system. That one would be more focused just towards rain with snow and any sort of freezing rain staying far to the north. That might not impact the United States, but I think it's a little bit too early to tell what's going to happen there. And then by Sunday and Monday, any severe weather risk would make its way across the southeast with all hazards being a possibility. Then maybe some snow and freezing rain across the northeast. 